Hi, I'm Sonia, intuitive impress. So this is a collective reading for Aries. Welcome, Aries. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen, and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what resonates through the rest of someone else, and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. So please be careful of the scammers. Know that I will not reach out to you for, for a paid reading. You have to reach out to me first. Go on to my website or my Facebook page, message me on either of those, and I'm happy to just chat to you, whatever you want. So, um, the cards that I use are Mystic Dream and Tarot by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore, and Right Right Tarot by Pamela Collins Smith. Oh, looks like we've got a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, fire sign, dealing with a fire sign. And you're at a crossroads, so this is Pisces we're doing. Um, so you might be dealing with a masculine energy or like anybody that is a fire sign. Let's get straight into it now. It looks like someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you. They see you as starting on a new journey. Maybe you're taking a leap of faith away from something and into this new beginning. Maybe you've had a karmic situation where you've been stuck going around in, a, in circles, going, you know, like staying stuck in your head. You're kind of like just, you know, needing to get out of the trap situation. You're trapped down the gag. Take off the blindfold and make a decision what do you really want because it looks like you're staying stuck here. So you're taking a leap of faith away from this karmic situation. You're taking a leap of faith away from something where you've been stuck in your head. You need to make a decision. What do you really want? Because it looks like you're getting wish fulfillment coming in. This is amazing wealth coming in. This is actually like generational wealth. This is huge wealth that's coming towards you. But you need to take a leap of faith away from something that you're feeling stuck in. So what is that about? I'm wondering. Oh, well. At the moment, the challenge or the, you know, like the situation at the moment is that you're healing. You're taking time out to heal from the situation that you've been dealing with, which is the st thing you've been stuck in, and you're healing from it, and you're having time out, and you're actually doing really well. Because you actually felt quite wounded from the situation you've been stuck in, whatever you've been stuck in. Obviously, it could be a relationship, it looks like, from looking at these other cards. So you've been stuck in a relationship. You're looking a bit wounded. you got blindfold on, you know, you got a... A blindfold on the other card and you've got a bandage around your head so you're actually quite wounded. So someone's actually caused you to be quite wounded. It looks like they're trying to hold on to you. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to they don't want to let go of you, but you're actually healing, so you're able to let go of them. And you're doing a lot of work on yourself. You're working very hard. You're focused on your work. You focus on a lot of different things that are keeping you from, you know, kind of keeping stuck. You're getting unstuck by focusing on your work and other things, working on yourself. Distant past, you have had somebody offer you some sort of immature little offer, maybe a little kind of love offer, little friendship, something where somebody maybe has come in and offered you, maybe they've actually offered you a dirty offer even because they feel quite passionate about you, but it could be that they've offered you a fish in a cup. You may have had a fish in the cup because there's been a love-hate situation. This is lovers, so you could have had um, options of love, this is Gemini energy, looks like somebody felt very passionate about you, they had this wand for you that they really wanted to, you know, give to you, so the recent past, you have this fire sign energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, somebody is very charming, very good looking, they could be quite a bit of a charmer, charming, charming, lovely, but it could be somebody that has been carrying a lot of burdens, so you meet somebody who is quite, you know, good looking, Someone that is carrying a lot of burdens, they're kind of stuck with whatever it is that they're dealing with. They're good looking. They they're quite um quite fun to be around. They're quite got a got a got a got a bit of a glow to them. But they're also doing a lot of healing too. So there's somebody here. They could be a divine masculine. This could be two different people here because we have this fire sign energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Someone that could be an entrepreneur. Someone that could be quite good in business. But we also have this other person who's a little bit stubborn. So it could be you've dealt with someone who... This this is actually Divine Masculine. This is the best king of the deck. But in, you know, in, in the good... In the high vibration. But in the low vibration, they can be a bit stubborn. So it could be that you're dealing with somebody who's an Aries, who's a little bit stubborn. Or it could be somebody that... Yeah, they just need to heal. This person is healing. So you're going within... They're going within healing... But it looks like they, they're carrying a lot of burdens from maybe some sort of situation where they're actually kind of tied to these things where they're going to carry so many different things. So they're healing anyway. So this could be a Divine Masculine. This could actually be the same person. Someone that can be quite, you know, like charming. When they're one minute is, 
are stubborn as well. So they're carrying a lot of burdens. They've got lots of commitments, and they're actually trying to heal. They're trying to drop the burdens by healing. So at the moment, your thoughts are where you're in protective mode. You are in protection mode. You don't want anybody coming near you, it looks like. Especially this person who is a water sign. This is Leo. I'm always saying Leo. Not Leo. So like Scorpio. Pisces, Pisces Cancer Scorpio. You are kind of got barriers up towards this person. This person is feeling quite emotional. Maybe because you've got strong boundaries. But it looks like you're thinking about heartbreak. You're thinking about that you've been an option. You just really haven't been chosen. So you've got very strong boundaries against this person. A water sign. There's someone that could be just feeling in the emotions. Maybe you're feeling quite emotional because you look what you had. You've been just made an option. You kind of like had three other people and in, in, you know in, involved in this relationship, family, friends, whatever. But you've got strong boundaries now. You're not really taking any crap from anybody. So this is the future here. This is this feminine energy. This is somebody that matches this masculine. So. Recently, you might have met your divine counterpart, and this is actually you stepping into your feminine energy, and this is, um, you know, manifesting energy. Feminine and masculine, you are very strong here. This is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Somebody that's distant from you. So this is somebody that's coming in from a distance, that lives at a distance, or they, they are distant from you at the moment. This is the future. But somebody's rushing in towards you, maybe this feminine energy, because they have manifested you. So you've manifested this person to come towards you. Uh, feminine energy. Maybe it looks like you're in your manifesting energy. And you're actually manifesting um, a new beginning. Where you've got ships coming in here. You're going travelling maybe. You're moving house. Moving away from the situation. And it's that you are manifesting a new beginning. And somebody else is rushing in maybe to try and stop you getting everything that you wanted. Oh, it looks like you got fears. Your fears are actually around this masculine energy. Oh, I see. So the fears, this is like a toxic energy. You've been dealt with someone toxic. Um, looks like that they've, they've been quite toxic. And they've maybe gone off and, and built somewhere else. Looks like that you're fearing this other person went off and worked, you know, built. Uh, just focus on their work. And maybe maybe their job was actually the third party. Maybe the job was the thing that got in the way. So this is actually toxic energy. They didn't. Um, they were focused on their work. Maybe they. Were, maybe you've been focusing on their work and you've got to pay rises and you've started building something new. So this person is coming up again. So this is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So your fears around this person, somebody that could be your divine counterpart, looks like. <clears throat> but it looks like other people see that you've had endings and the new beginnings. This is um, Scorpio energy, so you've had some sort of ending recently, so it's a new beginning. So you're starting to feel quite happy, you're feeling quite good, so this is others are seeing you as this feminine energy who is this beautiful energy who can manifest anything. So in the recent past we also had this Divine Masculine, so this is actually your counterpart match. So this person who is this Leo, uh, Pisces, Leo Scorpio, oh gosh. So we're getting this mixed up. So so this person that you've got here is Leo Sagittarius and Aries. So this is actually your divine counterpart match. But this is actually you where you're stepping into your feminine energy. Where you're able to manifest something. You're manifesting and you're really attracting anything you want. This is happiness and joy of a child as well. So other people see you seeing that you're juggling a lot. You're really trying to juggle a lot of different things. There's an ending so it's a new beginning. So you're hoping that you've got options at the moment, or you're hoping that you can wake up from the illusions. You're waking, you're waking up from this illusion, and you're actually seeing the truth of things. But it's like you're still kind of dreaming. Maybe you're still in a dream world about your your options. So you need to make a decision. Someone is feeling quite sad about this. Someone's really, you know, missed the opportunity. They're feeling quite sad. Maybe you're feeling sad about missing something. Somebody you're kind of crying over spilt milk, and it's like your options. You know, so this is actually the Hermit. You're going within, you're healing, you're having time out. This is Virgo energy. So you're actually having time out from these illusions, from this sort of, um, all your options. You're taking time out to heal. And that's also Virgo energy. Your outcome is happily, a happy, um, <clears throat> so this is actually donations or someone that's coming in to balance the scale. Someone that can give equally. 
somebody that wants to give equally to you. Oh, look, this is double confirmation. We have some, we definitely have this um, equal give and take coming towards you. This is actually two people coming together to give equally to each other. Somebody is watching you. Somebody has been watching from a distance, possibly. Someone that is watching and wanting to come in and speak the truth to you. There's an ending, so there's a new beginning. So this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody that would like to come forward and have a new beginning with you. They've watched you for a while and they really want to give equally to you and come in and build something new with you. So very happy with you for you. Bye!